Hello everyone, it's Attack of the T here, and for today, so, welcome back to another review, and first of all, today, it is my birthday, so, hey, happy birthday to me and all, and what better way is for me to celebrate my birthday, than to finally talk about and give my input on the recently released Paramount show, on, exclusively on Paramount Plus, Knuckles, this time, this focuses on Knuckles the Echidna, based off from the live-action Sonic series, this has been quite in development for about a couple years, ever since it was announced back in 2020. 22, and while we didn't really get much information for all the entirety of 2023, at least we've been getting a lot of hype info and some information about the Knuckles show, and now it is fully released right now on Paramount+. Plus. All six episodes are released, and funny enough, I think they recently released the first episode exclusively on YouTube, which I find pretty hilarious, though you may have noticed that for the past few days, you may have noticed that... There's so many people, especially the, in the Sonic community, that gives their regards about the Knuckles show. Some loved it, some hated it, some really despised it, and some stated that the Knuckles show is the worst thing that has ever stained the Sonic series and is the worst piece of media of all time. Now, before I could even talk about all that, I really want to give out my own judgment on what I think about the Knuckles show. I'll be going through all six episodes. I'm only going to be giving out like some brief summaries along with ratings and all, talk about the characters, and to see whether or not the show is worth it, and you know, all that. So I hope you guys enjoy my review on the Knuckles series. And so with that, let's get started with reviewing the new series, Knuckles. So our first episode gives us our insight about Knuckles and how he is in his time of Earth and whatnot. And apparently, you know, since he now has to master Emerald, he doesn't exactly know what to do. But then after some grounding, some some grounding from Madison, Tom's wife, who by the way, Tom does not appear in the show at all, which that worried some people. Personally, I think he's just busy, given that you know the actor can have you know can have different lives and you know trying to be in different roles and whatnot. And when it meant this show to be Knuckles. Yeah, I will let you know that Sonic and Tails only appears in this one for like three to four minutes. They've appeared in like one episode and then that's about it. And then that's when Knuckles decides to train Wade, who was one of the major characters, well, Wade, who's one of the main characters in the show and pretty much he wants to train Wade to become a warrior. Meanwhile, we get to see this Wade plot where, you know, he lost his bowling ball alley and whatnot. It's a nice little insight to give us the, you know, give us some introduction of who Knuckles is and to also give some characters, some side characters, more main role ish. Wade was a was a side character in the first two movies, and to now see him be a main role and to be trained by Knuckles is definitely interesting, in my opinion. Now, personally, this is not bad of a first episode. I will give this around a eight out of ten. There is also this nice fight scene between like two agents. I think they're supposed to be from Gun, and then they kidnap Knuckles, that's pretty much what happened in the end of the episode, and overall, I will give this around an 8 out of 10. Not too bad for a first episode, in my opinion. Now, the second episode, this time, it, revol it revolves around Wade trying to save, you know, Knuckles since he's been imprisoned by the two agents. We then get some nice slapstick humor and some funny fights and whatnot, and then in the end, Knuckles was then rescued by Wade, and we do get to see that moment where Knuckles does glide. We can't, we can't forget one of his major abilities, and I feel like Wade is getting a lot of hate, because that's one thing I've been noticing ever since the show came out. I've been seeing a lot of people hate on Wade because of the slapstick humor that he was given. Which, personally, I don't mind the humor, because I'm gonna be clearly honest with you, Sonic movie humor can either be a hit or a miss. Sometimes they can hit pretty well, but most of the time, it can be a bit of a miss every now and then. And I don't really see any issue with Wade, in my opinion. I can get why it's sort of, you know, something to do with the character arc of his, but that we'll have to get into pretty later on. Overall, I will give this episode around an 8 out of 10, like an 8.5 out of 10. Nice action, humor can be a bit, a bit of a hit or miss, and I really do like the, per, the chemistry between both Wade and Knuckles. Now we get to episode 3, where this time it revolves around Knuckles, along with Wade, meeting, oh, and along with Wade, on his family, most notably his mother and sister, who by the way, you may have noticed that, you know, Wade's sister, whose name Wanda, is very hated in the entire show, or in so the series. I will talk about that later on. It was mostly going through, you know, some, you know, family dynamics, family issues between both Wade and Wanda, and how we also get to learn about Wade and his, you know, issues with his father. 
water, which it was mentioned in the first episode, but I didn't exactly talk about it until now, because this mo mostly goes more insight on Wade's family. And then in the very end of the of the episode, we then get to see a nice, well done fight with Knuckles and hit and Wade's mom literally beating the crap out of these goons of all things, while also trying their best not to blow out the candle. That is genuinely one of the funniest, but yeah, well done fights, especially how it was angled and how the choreography was well done in my opinion. Now, really, I do find Wanda a little bit irritating, and I really do like this overall. Best episode, in my opinion, around a 9.5 out of 10. Alrighty, now we get to the fourth episode. This is by far, if not the most controversial episode in the Knuckle series, as stated by many fans, because this episode, which funny enough is called The Flames of Disaster, is mostly focusing on Wade, which Knuckles, by the way, is rarely in this episode. He's only in the beginning for like 10 seconds, and then only was there for like the ending of the last, of the, of the fourth episode, which is so strange, because that was one of the main issues that people notice about Knuckles and even before the show came out. And that's the fact that 70% of this Knuckles show doesn't exactly have Knuckles. It felt more like a Wade show. And overall, I don't exactly mind this. I feel like you all need to calm down when it comes to this. I can't understand why, you know, Knuckles is rarely in this episode, nor was he really in the entire show. Now, we do get to see a lot of moments between Wade, and it turns out, you know, he has to, like, he gets captured, because in the second episode, he was like, given a bounty or something, then he was, like, captured by one of his old bowling teammates, which, who was shown in the very first episode, by the way, and then, in, like, some type of dream, we get to see, you know, Wade Meekin Pacheca back, which, yes, that is exactly how you pronounce his name, I do not know why it was pronounced that way, who, by the way, is the head of the Echidna tribe, it is nice to see him, like, twice, he only appears in the show at least twice, being the first episode, and in this one, sort of a way of Wade's spiritual mentor, which I do kind of find great, but then we also get this episode with a weird song, along with Wade literally wearing a Knuckles outfit, and this specific image. You know what this is? This is Iblis. I'm not kidding. This is indeed Iblis from Sonic 06. The fact that they made an entire puppet just for them to make a joke about Facebook is... Strange, I will say that. And then in the very end, Wade and, you know, his partner then gets some type of, like, in, I think it's like a javelin fight or something like that. And then once that, the episode ends with, hey, at least Knuckles, we do get to see an explanation of how Knuckles gets his iconic treasure hat, which unfortunately only appears for, like, the, like, the last few seconds and also the first few seconds of the fifth episode so yeah this is the controversial fourth episode the flames of disaster which i can see why the title is like that but i don't mind it whatsoever some jokes definitely feels weird but i really am a little bit you know kind of confused on why this episode rarely has knuckles in it even though the show is named after him so i guess i will have to give this a four out of ten in my opinion now for the fifth episode. This time it mostly focuses on Wade and his father, who, by the way, is an antagonist. It turns out that, you know, you know, we thought that Wade and his father was finally going to be, you know, great and, you know, reconcile their relationship as, you know, father and son and whatnot, given that, you know, Wade's father left him and whatnot. And, but then they betrayed him. He betrays them by basically kidnapping his wife and daughter and then, you know, trying to sell out Knuckles to the two agents, who, yeah, by the way, are back in this one. And then Knuckles, pre and it pretty much ends with, with a clip hanger of knuckles going inside the elevator overall not too bad i did get bored to some parts with the pistol whip and wade stuff overall uh, it's about a five out of ten Last but not least, the final episode. This time, it focuses a lot on the fights. This time, first of all, we get to see Knuckles fight off against the two agents, which, by the way, Knuckles apparently wore AirPods in his dreads. I'm not sure, does Knuckles even have ears under his dreads? I I'm kind of confused about that. Anyways, after some fighting and all, we then get to see Wade and then his father doing some bowling matches and all, and then that's when Knuckles gets beat up by the main antagonist of the show, being the buyer, who was like a former associated with Eggman, I think. I I'm sorry, but I really am kind of finding that whole main villain thing really boring because the buyer rarely appears in the show. For like 10 minutes, he appears in like the first episode and then, you know, appears again in like the, I guess the 
second episode and then afterwards kind of appears last time for like the final episode overall i do want to say that when the fight comes in between knuckles and the buyer and then the music kicks in that's where things peak right there along with knuckles's new ability the flames of disaster and then after that fight knuckles then you know manages to win wade also gets his trophy trophy and beats his neglectful father and then that's overall the knuckles show not too bad it is not it is not bad of a final send-off so i will give this around a seven out of 10. Overall, that's all six episodes. Yeah, you can tell there were some ups and downs on this one and why I stated the fans were really mixed about the show to begin with. But what about the characters? Well, let's start off with the main man, Knuckles. Even though he rarely appears in his, you know, literal show... Idris Elba and his performance definitely elevates the whole show a lot by giving Knuckles quite a well done. Even though he's sort of treated like a joke in this one, at least we can do get to see some great moments from the fights and whatnot. And I do like his chemistry between not just Wade, but also Wade and his family. Now, as for Wade himself, I don't get the hate for him, first of all. I genuinely do not, don't get the hate. Yeah, he's definitely a little bit cringe every now and then, and especially in the first Sonic and sec first Sonic movies, and, you know, the second one as well, where he kind of made a few one-liners and made a Ghostbuster reference, but I don't really mind his character arc. I can, I can kind of understand why Knuckles sort of trained him to be a warrior, but I really don't think him being the main focus, especially with a show that is called Knuckles, it really feels weird how that he's been either like the main focus for like 75% of the entire show. Then, there is Wanda, Wade's sister, and now, I really want to say this right now, for those that are, you know, trying, uh, that are hating this character, you can hate the character, but don't send any death threats or hate towards the actress, Eddie Patterson. Let's be honest, if you're hating on an actress just because of the character they played, then just please stop that. If anything, she was only given what she was told, the script that she was given, but I'm well not, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they could have restrained her character a bit more, because... Man, I can see why people don't like her. She was insufferable since her first appearance. Like, Wade is like a cop, like a small cop in Green Hill, while her sister is like the FBI, and she acts all smug and snarky about it, and acts all cocky every now and then. And when Wade was kindly enough trying to save her, her his sister, after, you know, his fa after his father betrayed them and whatnot, she still insisted by thinking because, you know, she's an FBI agent. I really don't like her character. It's even worse from the fact with during, like, the third episode she literally stabbed wade like in the arm that is one thing why would you do that i get sibling dynamics are different but this right here like if you're gonna make her somewhat likable at least restrain her in the third episode because my goodness she was really insufferable in the insufferable the entire series especially since her first appearance like i said do not harass or send any hate to, towards the actress i don't like the character but the actress does not deserve the hate just because of this one role then we get the Pistol Pete, you know, Wade Spotter. I'm not gonna lie, he's just okay, a pretty okay antagonist. I had a feeling that he was gonna re re betray his son by selling and them out and giving away Knuckles and whatnot. He's mostly just your cocky bowling character, bowling person who you let, to, you know, you're, you know, a typical neglectful fodder and whatnot. Not my personal favorite. I do want to say Agent Willoughby and Agent Mason are pretty fun though. I do want to say that uh, I, I don't know why, and I really can't tell what happened to them but I'm pretty sure they died in the final episode given the fact that two rings literally collided with each other and given that and apparently this is actually played by Kid Cootie so I didn't exactly know that so yeah I, I, that's pretty cool I, I really don't like him saying the line of do I look like I need your power in like the first episode bro thinks he's Knuckles just because he has his power I don't mind them as antagonists they were pretty fun and all the buyer however yeah not a fan I really wish they showed him a little bit more I get that he had some backstory and some conflicts between Eggman, but I hate when the antagonist is rarely in the show when he doesn't give that much of a big threat overall. And given the fact that he only appears for like a few minutes and then in the very last episode and it immediately dies from like a giant dome, then yeah, I don't really know what to say about this. The buyer is pretty cool though. And you know what? I will give this, I really do hope we get to see more human antagonists in the Sonic series given that Eggman is like one of the only few characters that are that is a human and is also a villain we need more of those instead of just the typical sonic villains like black doom or metal sonic and whatnot but 
That's all I can say about the characters. And really, that's all the, that's all I can really say about the Knuckles show. Is it really worth watching as both a casual fan and a Sonic fan? So as a casual fan, you may find some enjoyment out of this. Like I mentioned with the live action Sonic series, it is a hit or a miss on whether or not the jokes can land or not. It can be pretty funny when it does, but it can mostly be a hit, a miss every now and then. The fights are pretty cool. They can be hyped and the references are pretty cool. I will say that the intro is great. I I, it, it is catchy, given the fact that I like this nice, cute art style that he show. I'm not going to play it, because obviously copyright and all, but there is the biggest issue of regarding about the show, and that's the fact that Knuckles, despite it being named after him, is rarely in his show. It, it, like, it feels so weird that the show that was named after him, he doesn't even appear at all. And I see so many fans stating that, oh, this is the worst thing Sonic has ever done, or, you know, this is the worst piece of Sonic media to ever exist, even though we got things like Elise Kiss and Sonic or Sonic Prime season, like, you know, like halfway of season two and definitely the entirety of season three. We've had worse than this. And let's just not get a little bit overreacted. The Knuckles show is not the worst thing. It's pretty average, in my opinion. And I can see why people were really angry about this. And you know what? Even though while some are angry about Knuckles rarely appearing in this one, I mean, is it really unreasonable to ask for a show that is supposed to be based off the character it's supposed to focus on? If anything, this feels more like a Wade show than a Knuckles show. Overall, it isn't really that bad. I will have to give the show a 7 out of 10 overall from the points of the episodes I've given. Um, so yeah, that's all I can really say about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and from what I'm here... There is supposed to be a Shadow spin-off right after the third the third movie comes out. Given that the third movie won't come out for like the for like the next 7 7 months, I do really hope they get some criticism and at least try to focus on that Shadow spin-off on, you know, Shadow himself. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about this Knuckles show. Do you think it's worth the six episodes that you watch? Or, and do you guys really think that Knuckles is that bad of a show because of the issues it was given? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about this. And so with that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, follow my Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember this, once a legend, always a legend.